Okay guys, I'm going to be showing you how to create this really simple roll rig in Studio Max um, without any expressions or scripting at all. If you have a look at the rig here, um, you'll see that uh, I've just animated this. And all I've animated is that dummy controller at the top. So if I actually rotate this around, um, we, we tend to get this lovely roll feature. Okay, so I just want to cover that and, and keep it very simple. We are going to use Reaction Manager for this, and we are going to kind of set up a few little um, pivot points. Okay, so let's reset the scene. And I'm going to go ahead and make a box. I'm going to make this 50 by 50 by 50. And I'm going to put some segments in there. The reason for the segments is that I like to snap to these vertices um, for pivot points, okay? So what I'm going to be doing here is I'm going to use dummies um, to pivot this guy around. I'm not going to actually move him at all or control him, okay? Um, so I need some pivots in there, so I'm going to go with... Um, instead of dummies, I'm going to go with points. Points are a little bit more handy. I've um, got a few more options within there. Just going to make it 20. And I'm going to put my vertex snap on. And I'm just going to snap that to this vertice right there. Now you can rename these. So I'm going to rename this um, pivot underscore front. Let's just check that that's the front. Yeah, that's the front. Okay, and then with my snap on, I'm just going to copy that to here. I'm just going to rename this uh, left, so pivot left. This one's going to be pivot back. And you guessed it, this one's going to be pivot right. Right, okay, brilliant. So we've got these pivots set up. Um, they're not going to do anything yet. We've got to link this stuff together in some type of rigging hierarchical system. Um, and what I like to do, let's just rename the box to uh, box. I don't want a number. Um, and I need some hierarchical system. And, and how you uh, how you approach this is, um, I always look at you know which one is going to be the root, which one's going to be the driver, the parent. Um, and I always start with the heel. That's going to be the parent. So then, if you reverse that round, the parent's the thing you want to link to last. So with this being um, uh, kind of a, a four point system um, and by that I mean you've got a box a left a right and a front so there's four things that I want to I want to kind of link together as well as the back um, I'm gonna start with the box you're always gonna start with the box because that's the thing you want to control so I'm gonna go into my link tool and I'm gonna go with I'm gonna link that to the left pivot and then I'm gonna link the left pivot to the front pivot and the front pivot to the right pivot and then the right pivot to the back pivot. Now, if you want to look at how that goes in there, there we can see how it's going to. Also, if you want to go into um, into schematic view, we can see what that looks like uh, here. And it's pretty straightforward, okay? Now, you don't have to do it like that. You can do it the other way around, but it's kind of like a circle, I think of it. So you go in full circle. And the back one you want to um, to be the main guy so I mean that by if I move the back one everything moves if I move that one so if I rotate it rotates from there rotate from the back the front and the left hand side and that's what I want now I need to drive these um, with some type of controller so I'm just gonna make um, a little dummy I'm just gonna chuck that there I'm just gonna align it to this box and just move it up like this and this is going to be my um, controller I'm going to rename this controller controller now this is where things get a little bit interesting but believe me it's a very simple workflow um, practice it quite a few times and get it in your head if you're not familiar with it what we're going to do is we're going to go around to uh, reaction manager up in animation um, and believe me, this is a quite a powerful system. Um, we do have things like wire parameters as well, which is very similar. 
um, wire parameters you can tend to be a little bit more specific in terms of expression um, but you do have a lot of confusing things down here like all your controllers and stuff like that um, and I will be doing a tutorial on controllers if people need that um, but we're not going to bother with wire parameters so we're going to shut that down we've just got reaction manager and this is a little bit in my in my opinion a little bit more creative um, and it makes tons of sense once you get the workflow down okay so basically it works like this we have a driver and a driven okay um, like a parent and child so the driver is obviously the controller that's what we want to drive and the driven is the, the, the control points okay so we're gonna say uh, we're gonna say we want um, the uh, the X rotation and the Y rotation to control the X and the Y of these ones and these ones okay now obviously um, before we do anything with my controller I'm gonna alt and right click and I'm just gonna freeze the transform and freeze the rotation and all this allows me to do is if I move this at some point and have it kind of lose where it is I can just alt right click it and transform uh, and it transforms to zero and it goes back to where I am it's quite important and it's quite handy to have um, okay so now what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna link up these with reaction manager in a, in a simpler process as I can okay so the first thing we want to say is add a driver which is obviously this guy and we want the transform the rotation okay and we want the uh, Y rotation okay well let's do the X first okay so the X rotation obviously is um, this one so we want the back and the front okay so we've got the controller in for the X rotation now we need the driven so I'm gonna do the back first so I'm gonna go driven and then hit this and it's gonna say okay what do you want you know what do you want to drive and we want to drive the X rotation of this so as soon as I hit that it's gonna put a state in now the state is um, the, the dummy is at zero 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 rotation and the pivot is zero 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 and that's the first state okay what we need to do is create a new state so we go to create mode and we're going to put our angle snap on for this I'm going to just pivot it back um, probably 50 degrees and then I'm going to pivot this back as well 50 degrees and I'm going to hit create state and what that will have done is created this state I'm going to alt and right click and transform to zero just so I can get back and I'm going to do the same thing but with this front pivot okay so I need a new drive uh, driven so I'm going to say front pivot rotation X rotation and that creates the default state of zero 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 we're going to go into create mode again I'm going to rotate it this way 50 degrees and I'm going to rotate the front 50 degrees and hit create state and what that's done for me is it's allowed this to happen I'm gonna right click transform to zero um, and we're just gonna do the exact same thing but with the left and right but the problem with the left and right is they are on the Y rotation of the dummy so we do need a new controller this is just the X rotation so I'm gonna say add a new and we want the rotation keyframe rotation and the Y rotation so there there it is and we need a new driven so I'm gonna do this side first so I'm gonna hit there rotation Y rotation and it creates that zero zero state we're gonna go into create mode we're gonna rotate it 50 and I'm gonna rotate this 52 not 52 52 also <laughs> and I'm gonna press create state now that should have created that state we can give it a little bit of a test yeah I'm gonna do the same thing but with a different driven so I'm gonna go new driven and I'm gonna rotate Y rotation it's set a zero zero state so we're gonna go into create mode rotate that on 50 and then rotate that on 50 and create state and we are pretty much done with that so we've got this happening and we've got this happening and if we 
merge the two we've got this lovely little roll going on and we can use this um, a little bit more advanced to create foot rolls to create mechanical items things like that um, and that's how uh, you use reaction manager in this way